welcome back to my channel <laughs> welcome back to lydia's random thoughts i think this is the third video i'm actually going to be uploading today but i just came back from work today's a thursday i don't know why i say it, but <laughs> so i just came back from work today's a thursday took a shower and i was like you know what i want to record a video so um the topic that's on the table today is basically the fact that i don't know if i can say i just realized the importance of having and creating safe spaces but let me just say i just came to that realization recently um when i got back from my trip back home right um obviously we should all have safe spaces we all go through different challenges as we're navigating this life thing child it's not easy it doesn't come with a how-to manual i actually saw someone's i think it was their caption or their low whatever in their bio i think it was someone on tiktok and they, they literally said i'm just winging it i am i am just going off vibes because honestly you can only do your best and hope that everything falls into place yeah so anyway i'm saying all of this to say that here in china i have one best friend my other friends are literally in south africa the us canada the uk they're quite scattered okay so she's the only person i have right here in china and this was the first time that we had actually not been together since 2019 and that's when we met that's when she came to china in 2020 covid hit and lockdowns and all of that so this was literally the first time we had been apart as in like in two different countries and it's not like we could just hey get in a diddy i want to see you type of thing so it really dawned on me when i came back to china and first of all nobody was waiting for me at the airport second of all i came home to a cold apartment okay it was not cold i came home to an empty apartment and she literally only came back from the u.s on tuesday today is a thursday um and granted we don't see each other every day we don't see each other every weekend but it's the fact that you have the luxury of hey i miss you hey i'm not in a good space just hop in a diddy in a taxi and go see her right so now the fact that that was literally not available and not at my disposal i said baby <laughs> i experienced loneliness isolation there's a day where i just sat in my room and i was crying And I was like, damn. Besides my best friend here in China, I don't have anybody else. I do not have even a safe space where I could be like, hey, my friend is not here. I'm feeling ABCD. I'm literally already missing home. And it's not even that. I feel like if she was here, it would have eliminated those feelings or if not completely eliminate them but minimize them right and they wouldn't have been as strong but the fact that i came back here and i was all alone i really did a number on me i was like i was never ready for this i was never ready for this and there's no specific group where i can go and be like hey i'm not feeling okay i've literally been crying the whole day it's a lot <laughs> just came back from a house full of people my nephew's running all over the place and now i'm back here i'm alone it's a lot Th there was no safe space for me to do that and i'm saying that i realized the importance of having or creating safe spaces because literally this is how god works literally i think on the monday or tuesday i can't recall I, I cannot even remember the day. One person came in a group, and this is a group that I have always been a part of here in Beijing. And it's a group with over 300 people, if I'm not mistaken. And these are all South African people. But it's a large group, right? In that group, we talk about visas. If you have any 
personal question oh i want to go to bali do i need a visa for that whatever we're just asking general questions right so it's sort of like a support group for general issues because end of the day you're a foreigner in a foreign country but it's not a space where you can just go in there and be like hey guys i'm not okay i feel like i'm literally about to lose my marbles <laughs> i'm lonely i'm isolated I, I, i'm just not okay so a lady came into that group and she was asking if anyone was keen on joining a Bible study group if she created one. And people are like, yes, yeah, sign me up, sign me up, sign me up. I was like, you know what? I wouldn't mind that. If anything, that's just gonna be a group where we talk about, you know, Christianity, faith, reading the Bible together, praying together, whatever. Um, but it's gonna be somewhat of a close knit group where people are bound to feel a little comfortable as opposed to a group with like 300 people, right? She created the group when it officially started. I think it was just the six of us or seven, if I'm not mistaken. And I think at the moment it's 16 people all together in the group, all ladies. And let me tell you something. The first call that we got onto, we got onto our Zoom. The first call that we had hadn't even nothing not nothing to do with the bible or bible study but it turned into a session where we were opening up and just pouring out our emotions and feelings and just everything that we've internalized for such a long time and let me tell you something i say wait a minute so i'm not crazy i'm not sensitive i'm not overreacting you mean to tell me that i've been in this group with all these ladies all these years and these women were experiencing the very same thing I was going through. We were literally echoing each other's sentences as we were speaking. Nodding, raising our hand. I've gone through that. I've experienced that. Oh my gosh, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. And I realized the importance of having and creating safe spaces like that. That, listen, it's hard, especially being a foreigner. It's not easy. It's not easy. Oh my word. <laughs> I'm just saying that the day I open up about the challenges, baby, the things that I've experienced and seen, mm, yeah, that's a story for another day. But it was just so crazy to see that I'm not a dramatic person. I am not super sensitive. I'm not overreacting. These are actual emotions. My feelings are valid. And there's so many other women who are going through exactly what I've gone through. They've experienced all the feelings, every negative emotion you can possibly think of. <laughs> They've experienced that. And we were just in a group where we're talking about, you know, surface level stuff, sharing just normal information, right? That's useful, it's very useful. But at the same time, like I said, it's not a space where you can just, you know, go in there on a random morning and, and literally say, I feel like I'm having a mental breakdown or whatever. So. Just being in that space was such an eye opener because like I said, going back to my initial point, my friend not being here when I came back and just having that overall disconnection was an eye opener that I need to open myself up to establishing connections with other people because it was just such a reality check. <laughs> when I say it smacked me in my face and I was like, oh, it's just getting real ish is getting real oh my gosh the feelings that i experienced the fact that i was in a group zoom call and these other women who literally everyone in that group i had never seen their name in the group i had never seen them asking a question or whatever and it's like you've literally been going through these experiences and these feelings on your own feeling isolated you know so that's insane you know and now that the group has started we've literally been there for each other get on a call if somebody wants to talk it's just been such a wholesome experience and i honestly pray to god that it's gonna thrive and it will always remain as it is obviously now after the phone call um literally during the phone call actually one of the ladies suggested she's like i'm pleading with you guys i know that the main reason why this group was started or formed was for bible study purposes but honestly being in here and hearing everything that you guys are sharing all your experiences i think we should actually open this up to other 
ladies other south african ladies even if they do not necessarily want to join it for purposes of bible study but if someone really wants to vent and get something off their chest they know that there's this space where i can go and do just that oh my god it has been such a wholesome experience and you know when you have that where have you been all this time but you know everything happens for a reason and i think for myself i'm a person who's very I'm very selective when it comes to forming and establishing friendships i don't really open up easily to people i open up i mean i don't open myself up to people easily so i'm very guarded and stuff like that but this was such an eye opener that i don't have to obviously feel oh my gosh this is my childhood trauma and bond off of that with people but i realized the importance of having safe spaces but also the importance of establishing relationships with other people because the loneliness that I felt when I came back from home, <laughs> that was the first time I had been alone and known for a fact that obviously I could call a colleague and be like, hey, let's hang out. But I feel like this is what I was telling my best friend who's back home that that would just hit differently because I would be doing that to fill this void or I'd be doing that to distract myself. But I wouldn't be going out or meeting up with the person because I genuinely want to hang out. And I just felt like I would rather sit my in my apartment than do that, right? But that experience on, it, on its own really opened my eyes up to the fact that I need to open myself up to establishing connections with other people. Like I really need to do that. And the fact that now I have this group of ladies who we are sharing quotes, we are sharing bible scriptures we are literally sending voice notes this is how i feel today or whatever whatever you're going through like it's a safe space and i don't feel as though oh my gosh what's happening now? i don't have any anxiety around it and i am just so thankful to god that it happened the way that it did it was just such an eye-opener let me just say that it was such an eye-opening experience and i know that there's another lady who left a comment and she was saying that she was experiencing almost similar feelings so i just wanted to say if you are gonna watch this video girl i'm assuming it's a lady if you're not a lady i'm sorry <laughs> you can just um reach out to me on instagram dm me um and if you're keen i can actually add you to the group so you can have somewhat of a, a space or a group where you can just reach out to people and, and talk to them you know so far I haven't seen anything that's like a red flag where I can be like, oh my gosh, let me exit the group or anything like that. It's been positive vibes, wholesome vibes, women who are like-minded and we're literally there because I think we've had our individual experiences. We are so intentional about making the group wholesome and safe and positive. Do you understand? So child, if you watch this video, please DM me on Instagram and I'll add you to the group because mm -mm, baby, we cannot suffer in silence. I, I was so shook. Like you mean to tell me I'm not crazy. You mean to tell me I am not alone. You mean to tell me that we're in the same group, literally suffering in silence. Hectic. Mm -mm. But anyway, those are my random thoughts <laughs> on this Thursday evening. I'm about to have my dinner. Um, so yeah, bye. <laughs>